What's going on, where you at? Your motivation guy is back, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm here today to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you the best Fortnite player you could possibly be. Guys, of course, having quick and flashy mechanics is cool and all, but if you don't know how to properly play your angles and avoid taking damage, you're never going to be successful when fighting an advanced player. And that's why in today's video, we're going to be showing you everything that you need to know to properly play angles and avoid taking unnecessary damage. And uh, guys, definitely don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the video, and uh, man, I'm telling you right now, now, this video is gonna be dope, so spread the word. It is going down. Don't forget my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. All right, so the first thing on our list is something a lot of players wouldn't consider to be very important when it comes to winning, but they couldn't be any more wrong. Like you guessed it, guys, movement. Movement is something controller players have had the upper hand on for quite some time now. This is due to their joysticks allowing them to have fully functional 360 degree movement. This means that, you know, you can strafe in circles, run sideways, and overall have more freedom with how they move around, right? On the other hand, keyboard players are limited to only eight directions that they can move in. But thankfully, with the addition of third party softwares like Wooting and Keys 2X, keyboard players can now have nearly identical movement to controller players. And don't worry guys, like this isn't cheating, all right? Epic themselves made a statement saying that they're gonna allow these third-party programs. So if you wanna learn how to get double movement for yourself, you guys gotta check out our video on the how to install it and use double movement on our YouTube channel. So with that out of the way, all right, let's get into why movement is so important. The bottom line is having good movement can mean the difference of you guys dying or winning your game. You know, we often see players die in fights solely due to not using their movement to their advantage. You know, a common mistake that we see among players is resorting to spam jumping when they're in a gunfight. You know, while you may think jumping will make it harder for your opponent to shoot you, it actually does the opposite. Jumping can make it much easier for your opponent to track you and line up a shot. See, you know, when a player is mid-jump, they're unable to straight, and so this means that the opponent can easily predict where they're gonna end up when they're in mid-air. So what you should actually do is really keep your feet on the ground and just strafe around your opponent. This type of movement is just much more unpredictable and overall, man, it's just more challenging for your opponent to track. But, you know, don't think that, you know, you should just never jump in a gunfight. Like, if you're face-to-face -face with an opponent, jumping directly over their head is going to make it nearly impossible for them to track you, especially if they're on controller. So having good movement can also allow you to slip out of an enemy's peace control and have more freedom with your builds and edits. So with proper double movement settings, like, you can sprint at full speed while looking to your side. This means you can turbo build walls without blocking yourself as you run to completely just protect yourself from whichever side. All right, so one of our Fortnite coaches jazz actually created a movement course 041-0054-5856 to help you guys perfect your movement and so this of course has been appreciated by both the casual and pro community so definitely give it a try if you guys want to learn more about our pro coaching then all you got to do is just click the link in the description okay our pros are some of the best in the business and they're waiting 24 hours a day seven days a week to help you guys improve and so if you guys want to get better at fortnite then training with a fortnite pro guys coach is one of the best and fastest ways to do it. So what are you waiting for? You know, something that goes hand in hand with movement is your defensive builds. Defensive builds are basically structures that you place that's gonna block the angle your opponent has on you. All right, so for example, like let's just say you're attempting to rebox to your side, but your opponent manages to claim the cone and floor above you. So if you just stand there, your opponent's gonna have a free shot and it's gonna be able to further peace control you with the cone or ramp. So to prevent this from happening, just simply look downwards and just place a ramp directly behind you, all right? No matter which direction this ramp is placed, as long as you're underneath it, you're gonna be fully hidden from your opponent. And so from there, you could just simply rebox away from them to safety. All right, guys, so another way to counter this situation is a little bit more advanced, but can open an opportunity for a nasty peace control play. Again, your opponent has claimed the cone and floor above you, right? But this time, instead of just placing the protective ramp, hold your wall blueprint out with your crosshair directly on your opponent. If you're turbo building, as soon as they make that double edit, your wall will instantly place and block them off, giving you the chance to run or edit that wall and just full, full box them. Like I said, like this play is more advanced and comes with more risk but you know if you're a strong mechanical player man i'm telling you you can make this happen scenarios like these are like the most common when applying defensive builds but really anytime there is an unplaced piece between you and your opponent i mean there is potential for you to protect yourself right so don't always resort to just pulling out your weapon and just trading shots with your opponent look for opportunities to block yourself off and just reassess the situation 
You know, edit selection is arguably like one of the most important aspects of being able to play your angles correctly. While there are lots of edits that can just get the same job done, each unique position that you find yourself in will almost always have one edit selection that's perfectly fit for your situation and it's gonna be less likely for you to just take damage from. So to understand the importance of edit selection, all right, you first need to have a solid understanding on the player field of view and just right hand angles. So since Fortnite is a third person shooter, this means that your field of view is gonna allow you to see much more of your surroundings in comparison to a first person shooter like Call of Duty or Valorant. And so this can be used to your advantage. The third person field of view allows you to see around corners without actually peeking, right? This means that you can have full visibility on your opponent from behind a corner or structure without them even knowing you're there. This is called a right hand angle and is the primary mechanic that we use to have the upper hand when engaging with an opponent. You know, you know when you play off a right hand angle, your opponent is practically forced to predict when you're gonna peek since you're completely hidden in their field of view. This makes it extremely difficult for your opponent to really trade shots with you and definitely will allow you to take minimum damage in return. And so see, you know, since there are so many unique edit selections available in the game, like you can give yourself a right hand angle in pretty much any situation. Although there's tons of room for creativity, you know, we're gonna go over the most favorable edits to provide yourself a right hand angle. First up is an edit that you've likely seen many pros like clicks use all the time. That is ladies and gentlemen, the peanut butter Better edit, which is essentially where you edit the top right three corner tiles to create a diagonally half wall that looks similar to a piece of bread. Hence the name, peanut butter edit. So this edit works best when you have an opponent fully boxed or when you're looking to take a chip shot from the medium distance range. So to use this edit to the best of your ability, you should be standing right up against the wall, right? Positioned slightly to the center left. When you open the edit, straight to the left as you jump. This is gonna make it nearly impossible for your opponent to trade damage with you. Okay, so when performed correctly, guys, from your opponent's point of view, only the top of your head will be visible for a very brief moment. So unless they're able to pre-fire the small opening, there's really no way for them to really hit you for any meaningful damage. All right, so the next edit we recommend utilizing for right-hand peaks is the window edit. So while it may seem basic, like the window edit can actually give you guys some of the best angles in the game. Like if you stand right up against the wall directly to the left of the window tile while you're editing, your opponent will have practically no angle to shoot you from. You know, windows are great for just taking quick peek shots without being seen. You know, just make sure that your opponent isn't positioned all the way to the right of your window window or else, man, they can have a pretty clear shot on you. But for the most situations, you know, the window edit was going to give you guys a great angle to either shoot or peace control your opponent. All right, so the next thing that you really need to get a grasp for to really be successful in your fights is crosshair placement. Now, let me tell you this right now. Poor crosshair placement is gonna make it way more difficult to hit your shots and edits. All right, so think of it like this. Like, the more unnecessary crosshair movement that you make, the further you're gonna need to aim to get back on target. And since we all know that the further distance you need to aim, the more likely you are to miss your shot, like, your goal should be to make the least crosshair movement possible while still getting the job done. And so whether you're aiming onto an opponent, building or editing, you know, the less that you move your crosshair the better right of course you know we're not saying that you should just be afraid to make crosshair movements but you know we're just simply saying that the unnecessary movement like over flicking on your edits it's only gonna hurt you and so when editing them to an opponent you want to finish the edit with your crosshair as close to the player as possible and this is gonna make it easiest to really land your shot and avoid you know having to flick when you don't need to although playing with edit on release enable can give you guys some crazy fast edits playing with this setting off is much more optimal for crosshair placement see you know with edit on release you're forced to hold your your crosshair on the final tile before confirming your edit. Now this can make it, you know, difficult to leave your crosshair close to your opponent when confirming the edit and sometimes require you to hit an awkward flick shot. On the other hand, like when you have edit on release disabled, you're able to make an edit selection and just freely move your crosshair before confirming. And so this means guys, that you can just line up your crosshair up perfectly onto your opponent in order to really give yourself an easy shot to hit upon confirming your edit. But you guys tell me where you at your motivation guys back hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel also feel free to leave a comment and let us know if there's anything that you would be interested in learning more about remember the more often you take a step back to really analyze your gameplay and see how you can improve the more success you're going to have you know we really want you guys to really implement these tips into your gameplay and let us know if you're coming out on top and more of your fights hey once again this is your motivation guy connect with me at your motivation guy we'll see you on the next one peace